This is the fun game Rail Route that's just released today. In this game, you can build and manage a transport network, constructing tracks and dealing with traffic and any traffic jams that come about. Today's video is brought to you by myself and bitrich.info, the developers of Rail Route. So how do we play? There's three ways to play Rail Route, which all come with interesting gameplay mechanics, which we're covering in this video. You can play with the rush hour settings, where a burst of trains all arrive at once and you have to survive. Endless mode, which is a little bit like COD Zombies in that trains keep coming and ramp up the longer you go. And timetable, which is more of a roleplay game mode, where a certain number of trains stay on the map and follow a timetable to stations along the route, and you'll lose points for later trains. So let's hop straight into this, and just before we do, let me let you into the secret that this game is currently 25% off in the Steam store. If you've played other games like Transport Fever 2, City Skylines and Open TTD, there's a lot of crossover in the layout mechanics. There's a regular leaderboard competition happening. And I definitely want to give that a go, but before we enter, let me show you the mechanics of constructing the network on another map that might be a little bit easier and less intense, as it's not quite a competition. So we're going to start off in rush hour with one I made earlier, and then we're going to follow a timetable and try endless mode after that, which is a three game modes inside of Railroad. So in this game, your job is to design, construct, upgrade and automate a railway network in one of the maps of your choice, which are based on real life locations across the world like New York and Paris. The job is to accept train contracts and dispatch the trains while managing the traffic flow and keeping everything running smoothly while making a profit. Now I'm sure you're eager to check this game out so let's get straight into a map I made earlier which takes place in Paris. Okay so we'll have a quick look at this, by pressing play you can see there's plenty of trains that are waiting to come in, we've got quite a few here on the map visually and we also got this at the bottom which shows you which trains are where and what needs to go where. So there's not that many trains right now, we've got three pulling into Gare de List, uh, so let's pull them straight to the station I think. We also got this staging yard over here we can use. We've got one for Stalingrad, let's throw it in there. I know guys, you can come in. There we go, alright, chuck all the trains into the station. There's already more trains waiting to come in, that's not good. Uh, we can send that Stalingrad train probably up to the signal and then through to the platform 2 of Stalingrad, get that one out of the way in 46 seconds. But then we've got more trains, so we're going to have to wait until this train's gone to welcome this train in. This is what I mean, it's quite a tricky game to process. I'll put it in three times speed as well, just so the time ticks a little bit quicker. You can go to platform 1. Now notice how you have to go to signal, some tracks are double tracked and some tracks are single tracked. And it really just depends on the frequency of the tracks. Oh my god, it's getting busy. So let's have a look at what trains are going on here. Whoa, that's, that's very zoomed in. Uh, so I think this one's going to expire very quick, so we've got to get that one in. There's a little timer you can see, and if it gets to the end, then you'll lose. Oh no, it's getting pretty hectic over here as well. Let's get this guy in platform 3. Uh, Chateau London, you can go. Off you go, mate. Go, 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 go. Get out of the way. Who else is waiting? Oh, get, we got to clear this platform then, okay. This guy can probably head off straight away, actually, platform 4. Okay, we're, we're managing it, we're managing it. This one's about to expire though, so <laughs> this train's got to come in. Um, right, yeah, you can go in there, buddy. That's getting very close. Um, we got a signal we can go to, we don't. We don't. Okay, we're going to have to just wait for this train to move. Come on, get out of the way, get out of the way, clear the block section. It's getting so close. I don't know, I think we've lost this one. Yep, I knew it. Something was going to expire. This game's hard. To be fair, that was a late game because I've already been playing this save quite a lot. That's the sort of difficulty we're talking here. It does get very hard once it ramps up on Rush Hour. So what we'll do is we'll check out the other game modes and we'll come back to Rush Hour under the contest mode and compete against all real players and hopefully we can get number one there. For now, let's check out the timetable mode, which is a little bit of a change of pace from insane amount of trains. It's more of a roleplay scene. I think we'll go perhaps for a, a medium map. I mean, you've got Wakefield, which is a very simple map. You've only got three stations. But then there's other maps like Wes, and uh, wow, that's a lot of stations in there. I think we'll go for something a little bit more simple. I think for Endless, we'll go for a really hard map like New York over here, but let's take it easy for now. We'll just go for a medium map, and I can better explain some of these mechanics. So I think we'll go for Gateway. It looks like a cool map. It's a little bit like Wakefield, but there's just a few more stations. It's a little bit more interesting and a little bit more tricky. Let's go for that. So we can pause timetable. That's interesting to know. I'm going to go for three times faster time. It's usually at a good amount of speed to go to. So I'll just bring this train in. There's only one train on the map right now. Really not a lot, is there? And by the looks of it, this is American because we've got numbers as place names. So we're running pretty good. It's a bit more laid back from what we just were doing anyway. Okay, that train's now leaving the platform. Brilliant. And then we got this train that's going to be leaving it in 14 seconds. So we can send this guy. Uh, we could send him to there. Yeah, and then we'll send him platform one. So we can't construct tracks at all in the timetable mode, which just makes sense. It's existing maps, so that's fair enough. Uh, we just got to be really careful where we bring these trains into then, because we haven't got crossovers on a lot of these tracks. Interesting. Can we switch these signals around at all? Oh, we can. Very nice. So let's pause the game and do that then. First things first is we need to switch these signals. So I'm going to have probably right-hand traffic, because uh, I think it is American map. Yeah, and that guy. 
And then now that means they actually have the sort of right flow of traffic. It might make things a little bit easier. As for this one, you can't really do that because there's only like two tracks that's not connected, which is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. I mean, you could do it from here, sort of these two platforms. You just gotta be really careful. Okay, so you can change your track speeds, but you can't change the uh, location of the tracks. Interesting. I think in that case, we'll keep right hand traffic here, but we'll just have to be really careful. And then from 82nd Avenue, we'll have to run backwards down the line sometimes. Obviously not ideal, but we're just working with what we've got. So I will also add one way to the stations, but remember, we can also override this. It's not like other games where you're forced to use one way. Even though it's a one way track, you can still run trains the other way down. It just might block some things up. So we're hoping not to do that, but I don't think it's going to get too busy, hopefully. So let's give it a go. Okay, and we're back. Three, two, one, play. Okay, you're going in six, five, four, three, two, one, and you're going to Gateway, which is where? No, you're not. You're going to 12.05, so you've got to turn around. Where is this guy going? Hang on. Slow down the game a little bit. What are you doing, mate? Okay, we'll just let him do his thing. You go to there, then to there, uh, and then to there, and then to there. Right, let's slow down slightly, perhaps. We're in Gateway, this train's got to go now. Get it to there, get it to there. Then, yeah, Platform 3. Get in there, mate, straight away. Uh, then that train go on there, that's fine. Wow, these trains very quickly expire. That's very interesting to know. Right, get out the platform, mate. Go, 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 go. Well, I'm gonna have to bring it on the wrong platform. Oh, that was so close. You're on completely the wrong station, pal. I don't know why you've got over there. Uh, anyway, we'll bring that guy to the signal. We probably need a uh, through as well. Could do with a through track, so perhaps this is a dedicated through track. Oh, it's getting quite busy actually, isn't it? I've messed it up already. It's actually a lot harder than you think this game. There's a lot of thinking required. It's gonna wait here until 8.11 at the signal. I think we've lost this game, guys. <laughs> I've majorly messed this up. I'm just barely accepting these trains. All right, this train looks like it's ready to go um, in 25 seconds at least. It's better than nothing. Off you go. You can go to that platform. 82nd Avenue. Yes. Chuck it in there. Who's late then? You're late by like six seconds. That's fine. Oh God. Oh dear. <laughs> um. Yeah. This is a. This is an issue. Uh. Um. Like rip. <laughs> hey. Well, at least I got an achievement for it. Well, that's timetable mode. Let's go a bit faster and do that one more time. It's this train that screws everything up. So like on closer inspection, if this train wasn't here, then we would have a much better time because there's just stuff backing up at this place, wherever it is basically. So just get this out of here as soon as possible is the plan. Yeah, don't mess your trains up guys. <laughs> it's very important. <laughs> Clearly there's better players than I am. So you're going 807, which is definitely late. We can't pull him in yet because there's not enough space in the platform. And we can't pull him into platform one, even though it is empty because there's just no thing that goes there. So we're gonna have to wait for this train to go. So that train's gonna go straight into platform two. Oh, wow, this is hard. Okay, cool, so you're clear. So hopefully that shouldn't stop, it should just go straight in. To clear the block section, make it green, you just press the signal, by the way, when you've got a train selected. So for example, let's clear this guy into the track now. I think, hopefully, we should be able to get this guy to come into platform two. We, it needs platform two, doesn't it? Oh, come on! This is so hard, we've got a train that's a minute late. I would be fired if I had this job. What are you waiting for? R1. Of course you are. Right, go. 82nd Avenue. Go, 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 go. Get out of the way. R1's got to pull in. Okay, R1, you're clear. Get in that station, mate. Oh, no. Um. Okay, it doesn't like that, so we'll just change that signal. No, 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 switch, switch. Oh, my God, I've done it again. I've done it again. <laughs> I'm hopeless at this game. We might as well commit at this point. Let's try Endless Mode on New York City, one of the biggest maps in the game. Let's go. Wowza, there is a lot of stuff going on here. Alright, well I think we just start off small and we get more stations unlocked eventually. But that's pretty crazy, let's see three times speed. Now I think we can do upgrades in this mode, so there's a lot of stuff to unlock. So the only ones I'm going to be using is going to be the track speeds and the automatic signals. Not a big fan of the manual signals, they might be cheap, but they're a hell of a pain to operate when the automatic ones you can literally just click, you don't have to mess around with them. Okay, another train waiting to come in, in you go buddy. Aha, so we can buy platforms. Interesting. Okay, I think first thing then, we'll get one at Woodside. And uh, I think Mets Willits Point is pretty busy, so perhaps we'll grab another platform there as well. Now we'll build some track. You do this by pressing B, and then selecting a track type. I'm probably going with an 80. All right, we'll go for another 80 over here. And then we'll probably get a track to go something like that. And then we need an X, don't we? So. Perhaps like that and then get rid of that track. Nice. And now that means the trains from this platform can cross both sides. 
So what we were missing last time in the last game. We'll do the same over here as well. We'll grab some signals. I'm just blowing the bank here, aren't I? Uh, right hand traffic because it's America. So we'll get a signal just there. And probably a signal just there. I've got to manually do the switches. Are you kidding? That's going to take forever. Well, off you go, Woodside. Oh my god, it's done! Commuter service complete. What? So there's a tech tree, that's so cool. So for every train you dispatch and receive correctly, you get one green train point. And if you earn enough of these, you can spend them to unlock things. Very nice. See, I'm playing with everything unlocked already, so I can show it off in the video. But that's really fun. Maybe something for the future. See, I, I think I'm accepting another commuter train onto this track right now. There we go. Okay, that's fine by me. So you can go to the next signal. Oh, switches. You go to that signal, you go to that signal. And then, where are you going again? You're going back to Mets Willet, so platform two. Uh, where are you going? Back to Mets Willet, so we don't have a choice. You're going to have to go platform one. What's this? I don't know. We're going to take it. Um, whoa. Okay, red signal. What? What? Go. Okay, you can go. You can go. There, go. Okay, and then that signal sets to that signal, sets to that signal. That's a lot of trains. Let's pause the game. That's, a, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine trains. Five platforms. Okay. More platforms needed. Let's get some. We got 800. Oh. Oh dear. Well, we're going to downgrade these tracks a little bit. Uh, can we get our money back? Okay, I'm literally... That's it now. I only had enough money for that. <laughs> that's crazy, man. All right, let's just carry on. We'll just see what we can do. You're going to drive on the right, please, mate. Yes, sir. Up to the signal. And you're going to go to that signal. And then where are you going after that? Uh, that's it. End of the line. So you can go platform three. Oh, well, that's new. Do we get tracks unlocked with that, I wonder? Looks like we do. How much is that going to cost me, I wonder? Let's have a look. It's going to cost me 1k. So we're just going to make a little bit more money. You're going in 45 seconds. Okay, that's fine. Switch him up to there. Off you go, buddy. You're clear. And then bring him back down to platform 2. So this is what I mean about this game. It seems simple on the surface, but it's actually quite a lot of very specific details that you've got to learn. Like, I'm just digging onto the surface here, but it goes much deeper. Oh, another train I accepted. Okay. Yes! I accepted... I guess the train being dispatched correctly, and I've made a thousand. I can now get another platform. We'll just pause the game real quick. We'll get rid of that crossover, and we'll get 400. Bring that to there like that, and then the tracks can cross over here. Can't do that just yet, that's fine. Just got to get this guy to cross over. We're going back to Mets Willits. Platform 3 is fine by me. And now we can put a track over here, hopefully, like that. Nice, and then that's going to go down to there. Not enough money, okay, perhaps not. We go in there. We can. That works for me. Yeah, you can go, buddy. Uh, yeah, just set the signal there, and you're good. Let's try and clear some of these off. We've got another one there. Let's just let's try and bring all these trains in a little bit. You're next in the queue, buddy. Can we get another signal? No, we can't afford it just yet. That's fine. It's getting pretty hectic. It's not, not as quite as bad as before, but it's still getting there. And you can definitely tell this game is going to get very complex and have many, many hours you can sink into this. Like, okay, whoa. That's a lot of stuff. But I'm really enjoying this game. Like, it's really fun. Even though we only have two stations right now. It's like, it's getting pretty crazy. And I like this sort of stress that comes with it. Like, it's it's interesting. It's fun to play, you know. Train finished. Can we get some more money? Yes, we can. A whole 500 money. Excellent. Right, you can go straight in there. Very nice. And that's pretty good. Like, we've cleared quite a lot of trains there. Let's get some more. And you can literally keep doing this all day. Like, there's more and more and more going to come on. And the track's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And so every train station... It's going to be connected to the grid. And that's going to be so awesome. And I can't wait until I'm at that stage in this game. So I think Endless is probably going to be my favourite game mode so far. It's kind of like Sandbox. Because you get a sort of build your own worlds. And I could definitely see myself sinking a lot of hours into this one. Now we all know how absolutely fantastic I am at this game. Like there's definitely no traffic jams at all here. Not a single train waiting. So let's hop into the competition. And let's win this one. <laughs> so rush hour. And then... End in two days, the rush hour contest. Let's do this. Three times speed, perhaps. Oh, where do we have got any tracks? <laughs> got to struck tracks. Right, we got, I think, is that 16 tracks? Because we don't have money in this game mode. It's, I think, the amount of tracks we actually have. So we've got to try and conserve our tracks a little bit, which is fine. So what we'll do is we'll have number one and two as our reserve, and three and four as our extras. No, we'll have number two and three as our middle ones, and then these could be extras. That's better. That way we can run through services. You see, transport fever 2 knowledge coming in clutch here. So we'll bring this up like that, and into that. Bring that up, and like that into that. And then we'll get probably just a little split there, and... Oops, no items left. Okay, so we've run out of tracks in that case. I think it must be tiles. Like, the number, the number here must be tiles that you can go. 
So there's a no stopping service. Interesting. Now I've not seen that before. All right, and then you're good to go straight back out, buddy. Green light. Well, this is very easy. This isn't very competition-like. I'm sure it'll get worse. Surely it can't be this easy. Is this like the calm before the storm? All right, now it's about to get a bit more tricky. So let's build some more tracks real quick. We'll put our crossover just in the middle. It's probably not the best spot in the world, but it's enough, I guess. So we'll just make sure these tracks are actually connected first, and then we'll get our crossover there. It is very essential to have one of those, because obviously these trains got to go to the airport. That can go there, that can go there, and that can go there. That's pretty good. I like that. I don't think you could get a much better track design than that at this stage anyway. Right, in you come. Another train. So you're just going straight there, like before. No stop in Mainline East. You're going straight through as well. And there's not a whole lot of trains on the network, so sure, we'll run him on the wrong track. That's fine. I'll give the Mainline priority just because I don't want it to stop if it's like a Mainline service. It would be best to keep it going. And then you're going to the airport a little bit late, but it's only a three-car train, so there's not going to be that many people. And then we've got a freight corridor. Okay. So the freight corridor is probably just going to be like a path. I don't see there being a whole other train stopping in the freight corridor. So we're going to have to go quite narrow with that because we've got a plan for the future, obviously, with this. That's going to go into platform two and three. I'll just bring this to here for the future. Get a nice cross over there. Yeah, so we'll go like that. That's the best way of doing it. Look at us, we're killing it. Got no more connections left, but once Mainline West unlocks, it's just ready to go straight away. Absolutely destroying this game mode. Okay, this is a big train. This is a, like a cross-country guy. Interesting. Oh, we don't have any tracks. Are you kidding me? Bruh, okay, I'm going to have to just spin this track just for a sec. Rip it up and just put it here instead. <laughs> Oops. I didn't realise this train was going here. Anyway, that's fine. You can go straight ahead when you're ready, buddy. Next is airport. You can go. That's fine. All clear. No, 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 no. Bruh, 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 bruh. Stop, 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 stop the train. Stop. Spin. There we go. <laughs> don't want to repeat of earlier. Got to really pay attention to that. And after that, main line will clear. No, bro, go the other way. Yep, main line, you're clear to go on the right side, please, buddy. Yeah, looking pretty good to me. Everyone's on time. And main line west is now unlocked. Just what we need. All right, it's about, I've got a feeling it's about to get pretty hectic now. We'll put this track back in. Put that track back in. And then we need a crossover. Oh, I know, just pause, 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 pause. Right, all right, there's a lot going on now. <laughs> so, all right, let's pull them in. You can go, I think, well, actually, where are you guys going to? Let's let it play. Right, you're going straight through, aren't you? So no stop service platform one and no stop platform four. Uh, you're going non-stop again. Is there anything airport wise? So your airport. So you're a through service. So you can go to platform three when this block section's cleared. That needs to be a, a track there. In straight there. Nice, nice. Okay. So when they pull in, I need to spin them around immediately. Okay, good good note. Fair enough. Got plenty of money to work with now. Okay. I was nine minutes fifty-seven faster than the global median. What? <laughs> Have I done that? Well, this is going pretty well. I wonder what's going to happen in a few waves. I'm going to keep going all the way until I die. Whoa, okay there. I'm running out of platforms. I am big time running out. All right, let's get some signals in here then. All right, that's as good as it's going to get for now. This guy's like, I think this is where we lose. Like, I don't think we're going to be able to get that one. Unless we send him straight there. And then, um, well, that's the only thing we can do, I guess. I think we're going to lose. I really do. Just go, 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 go. Please go, please go, please go. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, we've lost, bro. No, that was so hard. That was a lot of trains. And there we are. Eighth place on the leaderboard. That's okay. I'll take that. That's okay. I like that. We're up there. <laughs> So this game is really fun. I'm definitely going to be checking this out some more. And don't forget this game is 25% off on Steam. And if you're interested in finding out how I design my yards, you should check out this video where I construct the perfect train yards inspired by real life designs.